Right, so. <laughs> Very good. I, I, when I'm editing these, I crack them every time I get into that. Because it's always different. You're doing it's a different, different thing every, every time. time. I guess I am when I'm good. thinking about it. It's the same thing, but your expression changes, and that's what's very cool about it. You need to find your go-to intro. Okay, I will. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 Do we ever write that rap? We wrote in so many raps out. I don't know which one to go with. <laughs> Devin wants a new camera. Oh, you know what? Look her up. Just hand that one. with y'all. Oh, okay. She loves your old school one. Cars and cameras. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> wrong. Wrong show. Wrong show. All right, what's up, everybody? This is another episode of Mini Biking Ain't Easy, a Go Power Sports podcast. And today I have my main man, Zane, in the membrane. I got Bernie on the ones, twos, and threes. And today, to help <laughs> book in this season, we got Taylor Yoko. What's up? Oh, oh you want it? That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. It's oh, you want it? Sorry, sorry. Here, can we run that again? Okay. My we have Taylor Yoko. Yeah. What's up, bud? What's happening, man? What are you messing with down there? Uh, some cords. Stop that. No, this is perfect now. Okay. Okay. It was good, under the good. wheel. So good. what's up, man? Not much. Research and development, man. That's what's Working up. Working on drag bike. Oh, yeah? Ooh. Yeah. So you got an ETA on a drag bike? I would say hopefully a month. Dang. A month to six weeks. Okay. We should have a drag uh-huh. frame. I hope so. So where is it at in development? Are you guys figuring out kind of... You have the final configuration. I've seen it. It looks really nice. Basically, we're still messing with the hangers and the stretch. Ooh, okay. We Talk. already did the dual down tube in the front, but we have one that's stretched six inches and one that's four. Ooh. So we're going to ride both of those and see which one. Okay. Keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Name but it's, it's going to be a double whammy. It's going to be a drag bike slash slammed rascal. Mm. So we're aiming for like a good cruiser and a fast bike. Ooh, okay. Nice. So are there going to be multiple points for the rear wheel? Or does it make it a cruiser just because it'll have all their wheel on it? So I don't want to give everything away as far <laughs> as the hangers because this is something that nobody has done yet. And okay. I think it's going to be really cool. But basically you're going to be able to run live axle or stub axle and you can run whatever size wheel you want you can run six inch live axle you can run the douglas wheels you can run the new 10 inch machined aluminum nice we'll post that those wheels right here boom 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 there we go so we just finished up the pull start picnic 2023 yep. we did. good job on that Ooh-wee. good job to you guys i say good job team go power sports the everyone, whole team yeah, yeah everyone did a great job Explain to me your experience with from beginning to end. I was just basically shocked the entire time. Mm-hmm. I couldn't believe how many people were there. I couldn't believe how many bikes were there. It was cool. And it was like a whole weekend event because we had the drag racing. We went to some races on Saturday night after the show. And people started coming in, I think, what, on Thursday. So it was like Thursday all the way through Sunday was just mini bike craziness. So on Thursday, we had Day Day from California come in. Mm-hmm. We had Fast Lane, the guys from Fast Lane who were... Extremely fast, especially on the dragway on Sunday. Who all from California? We had Fast Lane, we had Day Day, and Jake, then Jake Moe. Jake Moe and, and Jake, Jake and his brother. Okay, so that was and West then, Coast. And then we also had from our neighbors from the near north, we had the Mantini boys. Yep. All the way from Canada. Canada. All the way from Canada. That was definitely our furthest travel, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think they, yeah, they get that prize. I think it was by 500 miles. Was it? Yeah. Dang. They drove 1,900 miles. So it was cool because they came that up. Is, holy cow. Yeah, <laughs> they came up to register. Registration and I'm pulling up their name and they had like a little Canadian flag next to it. I'm like, man, how far did you guys come from? He's like, hey, I'm from, I don't know. I don't do a good Canadian voice, but Sam basically said that he came all the way from Canada. And then going back and seeing his YouTube videos, have you seen Mantini Motors YouTube videos at all? I have. They're actually like really legit. And it's yeah. cool seeing the bikes that they built to bring on down. I was like, man, I wish I would have paid more attention to that. There was so much going on in just a few hours. Span. Did you see their Christmas special Honda? Which was that the Z50? Yeah. Oh, Put that man. Right here. Sorry, the Z50, as, oh. as Sam said. So it didn't win anything because it's not technically a mini bike, right. but this thing was immaculate. What was this, his story about finding it or buying it? He found it in a uh, like a yard sale or in a barn or something. The person only wanted like 500 bucks. <laughs> they had no idea what they had. Now, it was a little rough. He had to clean it up a lot, but still, 
hundred bucks for a rare, rare, rare Z fifty. That's yeah, that's pretty cheap. So that was the furthest north, and then east coast we had misfits, mini bike mm -hmm. misfits. They came all the way from Georgia. Cars and cameras from North Carolina. We also all had, three of them. Yeah, which, which was, cool. was really cool. Did you see we have their memorabilia back here? Oh yeah, they the uh, suitcase the sixteen card. inch. Yeah, the go six, kart, which is probably one of the coolest builds. And I love that they actually tried to take it on that <laughs> airplane. <laughs> you heard that story, right? Yeah, no, he got pulled in by the TSA, yes, man. Yes, Yeah, they're like, oh, so you're just bringing a bomb onto the plane. <laughs> With wheels, <laughs> transportable. That made my day because how nuts, I've seen this thing here this whole time. I saw Charles and Ike riding it around, but then to know, oh yeah, they did fly here. How did they get that thing here? And then seeing that video helped like that really just made my day knowing that there was a whole thing yeah we'll, put, just, we'll put a link up to their video that's crazy right here. they just Shout had to check boys. the bag in and yeah well because they tried to go through with it and then he got pulled over by tsa and they made him go back and check it because they said that he can't bring it onto the plane i thought this was america but whatever sorry about that ike <laughs> it's an engine <laughs> <laughs> you can't bring a combustion engine onto a plane nowadays fumes and oil and yeah and they did all that what two weeks after we saw them in north carolina for mini mayhem was it two weeks later or was it the next week i think it was, was one it? week later it was one, one week. week oh yeah 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 it was a whirlwind for you guys because yeah. i know you guys went out for mini mayhem and then you guys were back the next week and then we had pull start it's been a wild couple of weeks for the gps team so along with our list we had a bunch of people from san antonio and houston mm -hmm. we also had busted knuckles busted oh knuckles. yeah They're from right here in texas which was pretty cool yeah build break repeat and he's at all our stuff yeah i mean rick and brandy shout there. out to rick and brandy yeah, yeah. oh right. everything and Very let's cool. give a shout out to rick because he made made some amazing trophies oh, for this contest yeah, right here. Yeah. Like every one of them was special. And then he and Brandy each had their own Rick and Brandy picks and they made little statues for that as well. So good job on them, man. Yes. Thank you guys so much, Rick and Brandy. Appreciate you guys coming up here, especially after getting robbed essentially oh, man yeah and you look at his trophies like they're just like his mini bikes they're polished clear coated i mean he puts he puts time, time and effort into those yeah. yeah and they turn out good hopefully you'll keep making our trophies for next year and even the gps 180 we haven't reached out to him yet we need to write that down go ahead and Let's figure out the trophies. <laughs> well, write that down zane oh yeah let me, let me. <laughs> we had quite a few other oklahoma people. oh yeah mini lots bike of motivation. guys from oklahoma yeah. man oh yeah we had bobby hammond with metal fab jack ramsey jack, jack ramsey. ramsey oh with that really cool his little like bar stool cart that he made yes. that thing is wild dude that thing is cool it's like a cross cart the yeah. one that's like super low the super low one but he has like a little swivel seat on the top of it and then he made a chain, chain oh wheel yes for that's it. like yeah. the bar stool yeah, 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 yeah that is the bar stool cart i love that man that one is cool so i was worried that we were gonna maybe have 20 to 30 bikes out there could yeah. you guesstimate how many mini bikes you think entered well we were talking about it earlier we initially took out 150 buckets which went to each bike and those were all gone yes yeah, so we, we had, had to bring more batch. pushing 200 170 180 Mm -hmm. which is 10 times the amount I thought was going to show up, <laughs> yes. which is totally amazing. And hopefully next year even grows even bigger. I, yeah, so I think it will. Those who would like to know, May 18th, 2024 will be the second Tool Start Picnic. You can go ahead and click this link. If you want to go ahead and sign up, I think we're just doing it $20 for a person. You, you bring up to five or 10 mini bikes. I don't know. We will hammer out those details just because we'll fiddle, man. we almost ran out of space, yeah. which is nuts. I don't know. We we'll find a way. We could yeah. get more organized. We could fit a lot more bikes. We could double it, I think. What was the coolest bike you saw out there at Pulse Start? And you can go by category. Mm, yeah, you can even to. just break down. You know what? What's a cool bike that you that saw? That is so top five, top hard five. to say. The Christmas special Honda captured my eye right away just because of what it is. It's very grabby, yeah. Rare it is my favorite micro was the white little rascal with the sidecar oh man which, that thing was... which i think won and, and we chose <laughs> that yeah. thing was sick and he built that specifically for this show really that bike was actually in a fire if you didn't know no i didn't know that the little rascal was yeah. it was in a like a 30 by 40 shop that burned to the ground and <laughs> it was his oh, buddies no. and oh. he said well i'm gonna use this one and he fixed it up and yep. wow Dang. built the sidecar he did all this in like two weeks so it's haunted it's haunted oh my gosh <laughs> did he drive it in does it run oh he wrote it 
Oh, yeah. I have pictures. I know my daughter and Evan's daughter both were like, they were sitting on it and then trading places who was driving and who was sitting in the thing. So (laughs) every kid there loved it. And there were a lot of kids at this event. I was expecting it to be a bunch of like middle-aged dudes just standing around looking at bikes. It was a great family event, man. Everyone had their families out there and people were just A bunch of middle-aged dudes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, staring at each other's bikes. There were a lot of middle-aged dudes there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Don't get it wrong. Listen, I don't want to offend the middle-aged dude contingent but yeah which is basically us us. yeah Yeah. us and our friends but i was impressed and there were a lot of people there i was expecting it to just be the usual suspects the guys who you expect to see there it was really cool seeing how many people came out how many people brought like ridiculous bikes what was the one that won in rat rod was it twinzel twinzel washington Washington, man yeah jeez that thing was sick that thing was dope yeah that (laughs) double engine number i love how he did the double engine because usually when you see a double engine mini bike it's like 10 feet long yeah and this thing, the way he staggered them in the frame. He stacked them well. And he, he had that, well. and the Dos Equis gas tank, too. Yeah. I and they both, that. And they both ran really well. I know yeah. Day Day's thing when he was judging that, I was like, it looks good, but it has to run well. There right. as well. There were some really nice ones out there. And I think it was hard to pick, dude. Like, there were so many different bikes, and you had one ticket. And I think that's the one thing I would change next time, is that everyone should get a ticket that they can put into each category. True. Because I think having everyone try to figure out what their favorite is overall is super tough. But is that a true customer's people's choice? Yeah. If they're voting in every category? I think it is because then everyone's, it's a people's choice in each category. Oh, so now we got to come up with six more trophies. So now we need five more trophies. Five more trophies. (laughs) If that's the thing, I think that is fun. Unless you still just do a count for the most I mean, I don't know. I I like, man, I like the one ticket. Yeah. The problem with the one ticket is that we were seeing it and it's a lot of bikes. Like, you could get one ticket and be in the top 10% of the bikes there. Because a lot yes. of people didn't get a ticket. Didn't get any tickets. And so I think the thing is, is like... Which, which <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings or anything, but yeah. No, but you got to come hard. I yeah. mean, you're not going to yeah. get voted for it. If your thing's but not think a showstopper. But about the user experience. Would you feel happier knowing that, well, maybe I gave you three tickets. So, so you're not, I mean, there's like over 200 bikes to choose from. I think that unless we have like a winner's circle or something, I think that it would make sense to give people options. And actually, this is a good opportunity. If you have any thoughts on it, please feel free to comment down below. Tell yeah. us what you're yeah. thinking. Shoot us an email. Drop us a line. I think I got it. Changes, improvements, what you like. Yeah. We'll put, everything, we'll put be Zane's honest. phone number. Here's my phone number. <laughs> we want to double the this thing for next year. That's my goal. Wow. 400 What if bikes. we had 400 <laughs> mini bikes? Jeez. Let's do it. We're going to take over the convention center, man. <laughs> 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 that would be sick. Here's how you do people's choice. You get one ticket per. Mm-hmm. You find out who you're top in each one. You bring them up. And you do crowd applauses. Oh, an applause meter. There you go. Yes. Okay. That's classic motorcycle show. That's perfect. I like oh, that. that. What if it's sick. a rev off? It's like okay. you have Whose to rev. Bike is louder. Uh, well, no, no. As each bike comes up, everyone revs their engines depending on how much they like it. So. <laughs> I keep forgetting to bring this up. We told everybody you can't ride yeah. during the show. Sorry, everybody. Can we do a parade? like a few laps at least around we, we our been, circle? We've been talking about we're going to talk to the city and see what we can work out in terms of having just like a little ride out where we cruise go out into the parks, just cruise through the park downtown down there. Fort Worth. Well, that's a little <laughs> ambitious, but yeah, kind of like at SEMA whenever they end the show and everyone files on yep. out. I mean, that's a cool little spectacle that that's people love to see. That's what I was yeah. imagining. So after pole start, that's when you guys went out to go. There you were people who went. You didn't go, did you? I didn't go. I had to. to this read was not a Go book. Power Sports event. I it mean. wasn't a Go Power Sports event, but we got to see some really cool drag racing. And by we, I mean you guys. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk about that. Uh, as soon as we left the show, we went to a local spot over. I think it's close to Arlington. Is that right? We'll go ahead and put that spot right here. No, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I'm right here for perfect <laughs> drag racing. No, it was great. Not everybody that was at the show went, but I think probably half. Oh. Yeah. I mean, by the time you got there, I think it was at its peak. Nice. And it was like probably 100 cars, two, 300 people out there. And we actually had police officers driving by, making sure everything was okay. And yeah. I was shocked by that. <laughs> they were like, you guys having fun? You know, just be safe. We had the cops backing us on that. All the bikes, man. It was yeah. seeing the Compton guys run against our bikes. I mean, that was cool. They are fast. I, I mean, didn't see them out there. a long, long time. That's true. That's true. Because the next day then, we 
went out to Temple, the Temple River Drag Race, yep. and we saw Lit- them race. Is it Little River? Little Temple River. Temple Harley. Temple Harley, Drag. Little River Drag at Race. Little River. Yeah. At Little River. At Little River. Which is really cool to see. Seeing just Harleys and Nitro bikes go all the way down there, but then seeing mini bikes almost being as fast as some of those Harleys, which was nuts. Oh, we were faster than a lot of the Harley. Oh, no, dude, and then Fast Lane set the record. They did. For the track. They had the fastest time no, on a mini bike. Not for the track. For a mini bike, bike history. No way. Yes. Small block. Yeah. Small block clutch. Really? Yeah. Did he get a slip? Did he get a printout? Yeah. Okay. It was a 7.9 at 90 miles an hour. Did we get a photo of that? I yeah. need to have him send us one. I think we should. Hopefully they still to, have it. Yeah. That's I know amazing. they got it on video and I know they got pictures. Yeah. Because as soon as they video? broke the record, we started contacting guys from Detroit just to make sure, <laughs> hey, this is the record, right? Yeah. Okay. It's been beat. Because I thought it was just that they set the track record. I didn't realize that they were no. setting a United States Mini bike record. history. Mini bike history was written there. Yep. We should do just a video on that because didn't you film the run? I did. I know that I have still photos of Dylan? I wish I would have been filming yeah. with my phone. Okay, yeah, so we would But excited. I was in the pit. I had just cranked up Flacco's bike and I was standing there with the starter. And he didn't even have a good run. The guy on that fast lane bike, like... He went, veered off to the left, almost hit the guardrail, and then centered back up and kept going. But so, he was, I feel he was like racing Flacco, or he, not racing Flacco, but he, Flacco he was against wins. Flacco. Yes, I think he could have shaved a half of a tenth, maybe a tenth. So he was he a setting a straight. world record on a bad day. <laughs> yes, yeah. and he was so fast. He wasn't wearing leathers. He was wearing like an NBA coat, and it was all buttoned up. But he was going so fast that you can see his tail on his jacket just whipping in the wind. He, like he was getting after he it. It was. Flying, nuts. I mean, he hit 90 in the eighth. That's what's up. There's a lot of people who've never even hit 90, period, or 80. Yeah. He's doing it in that amount of time. You know what? I'm excited to see where they go from there because now it's, I feel like that was being there when they broke the five minute mile in running. Because before <laughs> I was like, you can't do that. You can't break five minute miles. That's too fast. Humans can't do that. Everybody realizes. And then as soon as one person does it now, all of a sudden within a couple of years, everyone's doing the five minute miles. So I yeah. would love to see that. Years and years ago, I mean, eight, six, eight, seven was fast. And we ran that. Not even a crazy bike, but Flacco ran an eight, six. Cole ran an A6, and that used to be just like unheard of, right. and now it's well, they got pretty a, obtainable. What's his name? Daryl? Yeah. From BDMS building there, and he has tons of experience. Yeah. How long has he been doing it? Doing it? He's been building forever, right? 20 years? He's That's been cool. building small, like Hondas and stuff for 15 years. All right. On that note, we're going to take a, a quick break. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Get ready because it's that time of the year again. What's up, race team? It's Jason at Go Power Sports, your one stop destination for all things mini bike and go kart related. We've had two incredible years of the Go Power Sports 180 mini bike race, and this year we're gearing up to make it even bigger. Mark your calendars for November 11th, 2023 because you won't want to miss the third annual Go Power Sports 180 mini bike race. Whether you are a seasoned racer, or a newbie, this is your chance to showcase your skills, tune up your mini bikes, and join us for the adrenaline pump and race. Your goal is to have one mini bike cover the most ground in 180 minutes. So are you ready to feel the thrill of the race? Join us on November 11th for the third annual Go Power Sports 180 mini bike race. Can't wait to see you there. And we're back. Right, so. <laughs> very good. I, I, when I'm editing these, I crack them every time I get into that. Because it's always different. You're doing it's a different, different thing every time. time. I guess I am when I'm good. thinking about it. It's the same thing, but your expression changes. And that's what's very cool about it. You need to find your go-to intro. Okay, I will. All right. <laughs> so, so our next big event is the GPS 180, which will be our third? Third, third. annual. So have you seen our whiteboard in there of teams being broken down? Uh, sort of. Okay, because there's a lot that's going into this GPS 180, so that's even better than last year. As it should be. So are you looking forward to it? Oh, yeah. What is your specific job? Laying out the track, cutting the new track, hanging ribbons, basically the track. Okay. Make sure the track's good. And we're going Lots this Lots of Sunday. dirt work, clearing trees. Yeah. I'm going to show you where 
we are cutting off of the original track, adding in new area, and then coming back in. Because okay. you want to add how much more? Hoping to add a mile. A mile to yeah. the already, do you know what we're at now? <sighs> Two to three miles? No. Four? We're at four miles currently. I think four. With okay. all the roundabouts, Sherwoods, one and two? Correct. Okay. I want it to be five or six Okay, is the goal. What Six miles would be pretty sweet. How long do you think the average bike is going to take to get around the track now? Because right now, I think they're at eight minutes, right? Ten minutes. It's like a maybe. ten minute average. Might be nine or ten minutes. Because I'm thinking about, yeah, 180 minutes. And then how many laps can people fit in with that? So that's going to be... At least 18 to 20. Yeah. The fast guys. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So we need to make sure we have enough spots on our time sheets. <laughs> yeah. Which, do you all have that written down? No. Okay. Well, I'll write that down. <laughs> Oliver has that saved on his computer. Okay, cool. So we just need to add five lines and then redo them. Okay. Okay. But that's already good to go. Nice. Okay. And is there anything new we're adding? Are there going to be any new kinds of obstacles people need to prep for, aside from just, like, jumps and drops and, and hairpin turns? <sighs> On the track, I don't think so. I think we're going to add a couple tabletop jumps. Are we really going to do that, though? Yeah. Where? It's a tabletop. I mean, it's going to be mild. Okay. It's not going to be, like, doing a triple or something. We'd had to do this towards the front of the lap then, right? Yeah, I want to have it close to the beginning. Okay. Maybe everybody take off. You know how you start weaving around over there? Mm -hmm. Maybe have it somewhere in those okay. weaves. And that'll It'll be, be near the beginning. That'll be doable with our bulldozer? Yes. Have you heard word of when that's coming in? Uh, next week. Like, for, for real next week? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully next week. <laughs> now, is it up to us to figure out how a bulldozer works? No, we can run a bulldozer. I ran a bulldozer in the Marine Corps. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're good, dude. <laughs> YouTube it. And we got yeah. Toby, okay. my brother-in-law. Yeah. He does dirt stuff. And then we actually have a customer who was at the last 180 and who was at Pate and the Pull Start Picnic, and he wants to come out and help us with the dirt work. Ooh, oh, nice. He can run nice. the dozer. He's got an excavator. Mm. He's going to be able to make yeah. it really nice. nice. And we're also going to, we're really making a weekend out of this one right we're That's gonna have the, yeah we're gonna have camping from thursday friday night which i feel like last year was pretty good the camping yeah there was lots of guys camping but i want everybody to do it and then saturday mm -hmm. night was kind of, it was fun but there wasn't that many people there. i think everyone was kind of burnt out though. most people had left we're gonna give them a show though oh that's oh, right yeah. yeah we have a couple of surprises up what our do y'all have planned oh. for saturday night <laughs> Right here. No. <laughs> we can't say just yet, but let's just say that. No, uh, tell them. We got to yeah, spill I wanna, the beans. Yeah, oh, it. okay. I was going to say we had a burning desire to show it <laughs> off to people. Y'all uh, already have the wheels and whatnot. We do. Yeah. Jason, this is your yeah. baby, man. Why don't you talk about it? So last year at the end of the race, we had a huge bonfire because your dad was just stacking dead wood in the middle of our roundabout track. Yeah, we had some brush piles. And staring at that huge fire for like an hour, two hours, I was like, man, we need to build our own mini bike out of wood and put it on a pyre, pyre and just set this thing ablaze just like burning man but we're gonna have burning bike burning so bike zane and i and ollie and i have gone and picked up wooden spools that are about four feet in diameter i'll put that picture here <laughs> Yeah, so we got two huge four-foot spools for the wheels, and I have a smaller, like, two-foot spool for, like, the engine, and we're basically going to have a huge bike just burn Saturday night. So if you guys want to see an awesome spectacle, show up Saturday night. I'm going to burn this four-foot bike. So it's going to be the bike. bike. And then oh wait more than brush, four feet yeah, brush four foot to just the wheel yeah yeah it's gonna be a it's huge be like twelve feet it's gonna be a huge bike I think it's probably gonna and be then, eight to ten feet tall yeah. probably about twelve knock, feet long. knock down trees and brush all around it it's gonna have its own little like stand that it's gonna be on surrounded by all kinds of flammable materials <laughs> fireworks <laughs> yeah old oh, ammunition we were talking about putting fireworks <laughs> and ammo into the fake tailpipe of the thing so that as it lights up and gets hot it just starts shooting I like out. that <laughs> wait till they see who pops out of the Oh you goodness. can put Roman candles in there. That's what I was yes. thinking. It would not hurt be anybody. Yeah. yeah. But can we light the thing with a Roman candle? Like doused it oh, with gasoline yeah. and then just like kind of like a Viking funeral? Just We've <laughs> got July 4th coming up. So, okay, so we'll let's remember. You know what? Let's do some test runs on it and see what lights up best. Dude, we should just have <laughs> fireworks saved for this thing. So we should buy a bunch That's of fireworks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We got July 4th coming up. So let's buy a bunch of fireworks and, and save just them. house them. And yeah, yeah viewers and listeners... Let us 
know. Do you want to see more fireworks at our events? Or fireworks, period. <laughs> fireworks, period. <laughs> so we also plan on adding Friday night shootouts. The drag? And this is where Toby or Bulldozer Guy comes in. Makes our long dirt. Yeah, quarter yeah. mile, eighth Man, mile. That's... I don't know. You don't think we have enough room for that? We got to get all this cleared about how long we can make it. 300 at the Mini Mayhem. Mini Mayhem was really good. Okay. But then they had at least that to shut down. Yeah, you feet. probably need at least an eighth. Okay. We're going to do some reconnaissance when we're out there for our employee appreciation weekend yep. this Sunday. This Sunday. We'll have some updates on that. But I, I'm really excited to see some people do some dirt drag. And I want to have circle track too. Okay. We'll have Where a nice little is? circle track cut out right there. It's I'm, not going to be that exact one. Okay. It's going to be basic. So we're going to have like a little track. three ring nitro circus going at a certain yes. point, right? I don't Endurance see how you're race. Fit all three of these tracks on the same S- lane. So the drag, so the circle is going to go right in front of the house, like right in front okay. of it. You know, there's that triangle piece yes. of grass in between all the roads. We're Bernie. That's where the circle. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Love these guys. <laughs> I feel bad because I feel like Bernie ends up catching guff for this, but I'm the one who flipped the thing over. <laughs> you know so how, yeah, but Bernie was like, well, faster, <laughs> faster. We need another master. Push it. <laughs> Oh, he coaxed it, so that's the reason why I blame yeah. Bernie. He was a bad example. I should have known better than to have a newbie driver. That's what it push is. Push it. So no, like, you know what? We're really big about victim blaming here. <laughs> that's our thing. We- <laughs> so- I deserved it. I was wearing the wrong thing. <laughs> Did you see what he wasn't wearing? A seatbelt. So he was asking for he it. Was hanging Were up you the wearing the seatbelt? I was wearing a seatbelt. Nice. Yeah. That's why he didn't get thrown and out of the vehicle. Right. I, I, yeah. <laughs> he was floating on top of me. As I was yeah. <laughs> when we walked up to the crash site and you're sitting on top of the side by side, <laughs> covered in dirt and sweat, it's like dripping. I was sprinting two miles back and forth trying to find you guys. <laughs> I remember coming up on you and just, you're running from tree line to tree line. What, like, what insane dude? I was trying to what's find. The, what's the new guy doing? <laughs> exactly, he was the new guy. What's this weirdo doing? He's covered in dirt and he's just running around. <laughs> I was trying to find you guys because I was like, I tried to mama bear, like, I was like hoping. <laughs> that maybe my <laughs> I was hoping Man. that I'd get like a big boost of <laughs> some dopamine that would force me to lift this thing. <sighs> it's not happening. I, I'm like, what did it. you say? I think all you said was like, I think Bernie's hurt. Come yeah. quick. Yeah, I was like, oh, Bernie's hurt. Yeah, Bernie's under the side by side. <laughs> We'll throw that video uh, up. Yeah, yeah, let's throw right that video now. up one more time. I never get tired of watching. I know, I actually, it hurts my soul every time because I think about how close we came to losing Bernie and it was only because Bernie has crashed enough times that he knew to curl up into a ball. You got bounced all around in there. But you know what? You're still here and now your ribs are stronger for it. Yeah. And there was like hatchets, loose hatchets in there. There was oh, there's a gun. <laughs> well, we keep a pistol and hatchets and stuff. So there was hatchets. <laughs> Buried all in the dirt. There's a machete just right next to Bernie's head. Like I think there was a, a ball and chain in there with the spikes on it. What are called again? There was a, a ball mace. gag. There was just okay. everything. Was, sorry. <laughs> that was mine. Sorry, guys. My bad. So when I was running, face. I was sprinting so fast. I was like, yeah. I was like, Bernie, hold on to this for me. <laughs> So circle. So drag. right in front of the house, we're doing the circle track, uh-huh. which that's easy. And then the drag, I think, is just right on the other side of the road. Will they? We'll be have inco- to find a long enough. Mm. Yeah. Will it be incorporated angle. with the actual race or no the race track? I want to keep it separate. Okay. Because you will have people practicing on the track. Yeah. Basically all the time. That's true. That's true. What about out by those like out by the derricks and stuff? That's what I was just thinking. Actually, we could do yeah. it because the track doesn't go that close to the street, mm. so we could have it. Nice. Okay. Almost running along the street. I'm excited for people to come out for this. I think it's going to be a really good time, man. It was last year. I know that. It was a good time. I would love for this to be the mini mayhem of the South, you know? I think it was. I think the first one was a really good turnout, and the second one was even better. And being at our ranch where we can do a weekend of free camping, I mean, that's pretty cool. Burning mini bikes in effigy. Free firewood. Like, we had guys with campfires all over the place. Basically, all night, I was just running firewood around to people. Yeah. Passing stuff out. I mean, at every single event, the 180 is talked about. No matter what paint. That is so true. Mini Mayhem, Polestar, everybody brings up the 180. I was surprised to hear about it at Mini Mayhem. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Oh, wait. So talk a little bit about Mini Mayhem because I haven't actually gotten to talk to you guys. We've been just knocking stuff out so much. So what was Mini Mayhem like? What was that weekend? It was pretty wild. 
they said that it was a pretty small turnout compared to most of their stuff, but we thought it was still. I mean, the ride outs were back. Oh, <laughs> it was just a dust show. Because they only did I the bet. spring one for Charles's birthday, right? Correct. It's yeah, this was his dirty, dirty 30, 30, 30, I think. That's right, yeah. 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 But just the amount of fans and supporters they had out there was pretty wild. If we have that many people at the 180, I'd be happy. Oh, really? Did you think there are 200 bikes out there? 300? Yeah, 150? man. Up there. Is that a pallet yeah, how, jack with an engine on it? How many? <laughs> that would have made I'm good. calling them units. There was go-karts and mini yeah. bikes and oh, everything. Okay, yeah. That'd be super dope. What's should... our goal for the amount of Riders? bikes in the race this year? Because last was 50 to 60. It was s- real close to 70. 70? Okay. Wow. Plus the juniors. Oh, but that's right. For the main, I want like 100. Oh, definitely. Because you said you wanted to be like a, a mini mayhem of the South. I really wanted it to be like the gambler mini bike race, mm-hmm. yes. but down here. I don't know how many people were at that first gambler race we were at. It seemed like there were... I need to pull up the videos. A couple hundred or so. Yeah. yeah. I would love to do a little ride out with everyone, just go through the track, but have everyone out there on the track just riding with each other. I'm looking forward to that. that just do a cool. cruise along the track. We could do that, obviously, before the race. Before the race. Because yeah. after, there's a lot of broken bikes. Oh, no, yeah. So, like, Afterwards, Friday, it looks Friday like night Thunderdome. Or it's Saturday like, morning. Yeah, we'll do Friday during the day because everyone's going to come in Friday after 7 or 8 a.m. They can set up their camp. They can do test rides all out on the track. Then Friday night, we'll have the shootout. So really, anytime Saturday while there's light out. I was going to say also, I had a picture in my head of doing it like as the sun is setting, get yeah, everyone on the, cool. get everyone out on that ridge, like, you know, up the hill at mm-hmm. the top of the hill. We have everyone at the crest there. Take it so that you get the sun in the background. Be it's going to look re- like just get everyone in in their bikes out there. A hundred bikes up there. Yeah. And then everybody goes down as fast as they can. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> to race it. back to camp. <laughs> that would be pretty nice to see. Though. Anything goes. What would you do? My <laughs> I thought this was on stands, not wheels. Lock You're it. good. I'm not going to pull on it again. And then we'll probably change things up. So I plan on having an actual pit area. So if people break down, mm-hmm. well, we got to ask Toby. Hopefully he'll be on our reconnaissance crew, recovery crew. He will. He loved that. And then we would drop everyone off at the barn and we would have like a welder of some sorts. We will have a welder. Gussets, some belts, chains, so they break down, they can come here, repair here, get them off of the track and out of the pit area. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to have every part that we sell, but we're going to have Hopefully get you up the and essentials. Yeah. yeah. We'll have header pipes, belts. Filters. <laughs> pulleys, filters, chains, master links. I think that's the main. Yeah. We'll probably have some hardware bins. Having the welder there, the air compressor, yeah. to get a flat tire. Okay. Gas, we'll have impacts, oil, drills. Oil. Yeah. yeah, oil and gas. Write that down, Zane. Yeah, if there's anything else that people can think of that you experienced last year or that you've seen at other events that you really like, just shoot an email over to Jason at GoPowerSports.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's everywhere. your main 180 contact. I would be. So, yeah, if you have legitimate questions, I don't know if you want to keep this in here, but, yeah. I'm going to bleep it out. I'm going to bleep it out. <laughs> so there's that. I also want to do better about the pit area because just for safety, I want to really kind of close it off so that people know don't cross into the pit area. Yeah. You'll get ran over by a mini bike yeah we're going to so now in terms of the structure of how the race is going to be run so are we actually going to implement an iron man category for the people who are going to be riding this as a solo artist yes we will have the iron man award or whatever we call it buns of steel maybe the juggernaut or something who knows Oh, that makes sense. I like the juggernaut. An immovable, unstoppable force. Isn't yes. that the it's that? an unstoppable force, the juggernaut. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think last year it would have Man, been it would have been That's Bob's really award. Yeah. He was actually he did, pushing that. Up. that man, how many laps did he do? How many did he do? Seventeen or eighteen laps I don't know because, by himself. But then Mackenzie also did something what between sixteen and eighteen, I'm pretty sure, from the Misfits. She did she was riding solo and she did a bunch I think of laps. She was like twelve. Yeah, I think it was twelve. She was a lot less than Bob. Because the winner was what, twenty two? Yeah. Twenty three laps? Twenty two? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. Man, this is why we need a fact check. She was cruising, dude. She was. No, I mean, the fact that she was riding solo and there was a handful of people doing that and all the teams that won were at least two people. We will have the Juggernaut Award for Should sure. we have an honorable mention too for people like McKenzie or someone who rides like the six inch doodle bug with no suspension? Should we what have do honorable we call mentions? that? I mean, honestly, what we should probably do is get them a gift certificate for the chiropractor. Okay. <laughs> 
Six we'll have inch. one on site Hard by tail. the welder. Okay, so now I'm thinking about we need awards for juniors, and we need to cut out a junior track or mm -hmm. just know where that's going to be. We need the soft tail, hard tail, juggernaut award. And fastest overall. What is that? So, just whoever makes one lap? I think fastest overall lap. So the Man. way the Lime did it, it was it the fastest lap, and then there was best average lap. But we're doing this we by do, hand, We boys. don't have a good way of doing the fastest yeah. lap because it's not exact. Yeah. Okay. In category, and then we have the solo rider, and I think that's probably safest. Yeah, yeah we have overall hard tail, soft tail. <laughs> yeah, overall, there you go. Juggernaut, and then juniors. Do we want to have another one? Like, you know, <laughs> best effort, <laughs> the A for effort award. <laughs> I think we should make one more trophy. And... Yeah, yeah. It could even just be for best build or something. I mean, we know it's gonna probably go to Rick or something, but still. Well, I don't know. There was a guy who carried that yellow. The yellow. I was thinking oh, about the yellow one. I said endurance. That, that yellow one, I would have probably given it to that. That was pretty clean. It was like a cafe racer oh. off road. It was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, he and his son were out there riding. It was mm -hmm. a really nice bike, man. They drove far too. Did they? They were from up north somewhere. Nice. Oh, okay. Like Connecticut. Yeah. I mean, they they came far. And those who don't know, Go Power Sports 180 will be held November 11th, 2023 at the Go Power Sports Ranch 11, in 11. Grayford, Texas. Yep, 1111. Make a and wish. We actually have registration. If you wanted to register, I'll put a link down below. So if you want to go ahead and just get registered, we'll get you an event t-shirt and whatnot. But yeah, come on down. We will love for you to bring down your mini bike and race with us. So they get a t-shirt with registration? It seemed like that was a hot item for the pull start picnic doing it that way. I think I want to do that with registration. You get a free t-shirt. I like that. With some goodie bags. I get stuff. it when they show up. Whenever they register. And also because yeah. I think it's nice to give people something like that that they can wear. They can talk to people that they know who might not know that they are a real badass that's going out and riding on the weekends and competing in like a dirt race. That's the thing is a lot of people from what I've seen, they have their mini bike friends and then they have their regular life and those two things don't necessarily intersect. <laughs> no. And I think it's really cool. People should be able to share their passion and be like, yeah, actually, you know what I did this weekend? I went out and I did, you know, 15 laps on a course where people were just dying on the side. You know, <laughs> falling off of Falling mountains. off of a mountain. And yeah. yeah, that might be a bit of an exaggeration. I conquered oh. the 180 and all I got was this T-shirt. T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, I know it's going to want to wear that. How I, many people actually finish? Like 15, right? So yes. you'd only have to make like 20 shirts. I don't know. Not though. everybody gets one. You're just right. The, just the people who finish it. I mm. like that. Now, you, now you're thinking. And those are like exclusive. <laughs> oh, okay. Exclusive Here we go. shirts. <laughs> we got those exclusives. Are you, are you going to be making a 180 poster? Yeah. Better have a 180 <laughs> poster. No, I think we will because my newest thing is screen printing all of our awesome designs. And we're going to have an awesome design for the 180 as usual. So, yeah, okay. I will make a screen printed poster. Yeah. Is your guy working on that? Yes. He's actually working on our summer collection. And then he's working on the GPS 180. All right, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. We'll be back after these messages. They can't see you, just tell us who we're looking for. Okay. That's it, number four. Are you sure? Yes. No, number two. So, number two? I don't know, they, they all look so dope. Our 10-inch modular steel wheels come in four classic colors that'll make your bike stand out. Choosing just one is gonna be the hardest part. And for a limited time, they're only $49.95 each. Really? I'll take all of them. Good call. Available at Go Power Sports and www.gopowersports.com. Okay, I think that's it, right? Got it. Got it. <laughs> Every you get time. that? Hey, so. that's awesome. I do want to go back and talk about Pool Star Picnic. Yes. Because we had a bunch of awesome people in our community that we love. It's so hard to remember everybody. Don't say that. So, it's, <laughs> it is. We had people travel from all over the U.S., man. It's not that it's necessarily hard to remember everyone. It's that it was like such an overwhelming experience. I'll be honest. When Cars and Cameras got in and we had all the guys from Fastlane, we had Day Day, we had all these guys out. Flacco was hanging out. Montoya was here. Jeremy Kozad shows up and Jake Moe. The guys um, from Oklahoma. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> Minifab Creations dudes. And you have Jack Ramsey out there and everyone's out. And yeah, it was just like when I saw the Avengers 
for the first time in 2013. It was like, you're like, man, 2013. I don't think you're going to bring people together like this. You're not going to be able to make this thing work. And holy moly, did we get everyone who's big in the community. I'm hoping that next year we can get even more people out. I would love I to sure have Joe so. from, you know, JMBR come out. I want this to be a thing where it really is about pushing the community. And then the fact that we went out and we're hanging out with everyone the next day over in Lil River was really cool, too. But I think it was just so overwhelming to have everyone there at once. It was like everybody. It was a lot. Yeah. Which is not bad. It was It was great. awesome. I mean, your head is just on a swivel. Like, who do I need to go talk to next? Yeah. Who's looking for parts? Who's working on whatever? Well, I mean, you and Montoya were in the shop until what? Like 2 a.m. every morning from Thursday through uh, Saturday. Me and Jake and Montoya were here till midnight. Maybe Thursday. Yeah. And then Friday we were here late. Saturday we were here till midnight slamming bikes yeah. all night. Was, Wait, so what was Montoya working on? His bike. He brought down a couple of his drag bikes and he was putting one of our motorcycles on there montoya was great yeah he was hurt his back yeah yeah he yeah. didn't have much flexibility those days but he was in pain when we were up working he was doing pretty good but when he'd sit down yeah man, he, was, he was done was oh man shout out to montoya dude feel better yeah. he was a beast we pushed it hard that week dude i was just thinking it was just such a wild weekend to have all that stuff happening but um, could we get the detroit guys down next year i think that's the population we kind of so i on. have been told by a few detroit guys that they will be here Eric Whether that happens or not, this was Sam Blackburn and Brad Nemoisey. Nemoisey. Hopefully know- Eric will be here. Dude, Eric, come on out, Eric. We would love to have you. I know it's tough. I know you run the Studs Racing Shop, but if you can break out for just a few days, man, we would love up, to have you. Hit up Dave. Yeah. You know, he might buy you a plane ticket. Well, Who we knows? want him to bring his bikes, though. He's the oh, candy that's man. That's true. The candy man? Yeah. Or is that his <laughs> when, when <laughs> he went... that nightlife name? <laughs> Nose candy. Nose candy. <laughs> no. <laughs> You met Eric. We yeah. were hanging out with him yeah, in uh, Vegas. Yeah. Okay, let pretend that I have no idea who and we're talking about. And the nose candy just triggered the whole <laughs> Vegas thing. Wait, what happened in Vegas? <laughs> Holy it stays in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Coe's ad from Colorado. Yeah, so yeah, Jeremy. Forgetting Jeremy, Jeremy was great. Oh, you brought know, and down he, his son, yeah. which, oh, yeah. which we had not met him before. Mr. Carter. And they were loving yeah. the show. Uh, and he brought all that new merch out that he had. Yeah, And stickers. He was passing out yeah. stickers like crazy. His new design is really and cool. I, I think that everyone was kind of lucky that he didn't bring any bikes out, because yeah. having seen some of his bikes, <laughs> that would have been some tough competition. He would have been really tough in the vintage. Yeah, that. in an already packed class. Yeah. yeah. A lot of those were Harleys. Yes. Harley has Yeah, some Harley brought a lot. Uh, yeah, we need to just have a shootout with Harley the was there too. And Harley yeah. Wrangle coming out with 10 really nice bikes, right? Very and clean. Yep. Yeah. He won. He won vintage. Vintage. He should have yes. won Pate's pick, but we gave that to Red Rocket at <laughs> Cars and Cameras. <laughs> right there. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> That not, didn't win. That didn't win? That's no. not a mini bike. Red uh, Oh, no, that's the Red, Red, no. Red, Red Rocket's that bike that they it's bought. It's not Red paid. Rocket. I just talked to him the other day. No, he it was changed definitely it. Red Rocket. Clifford. <laughs> oh, no. Clifford. He was embarrassed about Red Rocket. <laughs> no, he, you guys own it. Just own it. I heard it, him laughing that I kept saying Red Rocket on the microphone. Over the microphone. He was just giggling so bad. <laughs> he couldn't help himself. That's why you always go with your first instinct. That Red name, Rocket. it fits it so well. So they won <laughs> which award? The Pate. The pay pick. They the got pay, pay pick. pick, yeah. Yeah, because we had Obviously. people over there that weren't at pay that put their bike in there because they thought it was vintage. But that's on us by not, <laughs> yeah, like, by not helping those people it's out. It's going to be so better much about. better. Also, just a little for next year, uh, get in early. Registration went pretty smoothly, but we had people who showed up after we had really done the formal registration, and I think there was a little bit of confusion when people were pulling in. Not casting aspersions, just we want to make sure that everyone gets taken care of, man. That's yeah. all. Yeah, and it's hard to pull in there, get your bike in there when it's already jam-packed. Yeah, if you show up at 8 or 9 a.m., yeah. it's going to go a lot better. And people are riding around. There's kids running through the area, yeah. checking it out. Yeah, it's, it gets a little hectic. Yeah. yeah. Now, is there anything else on our calendar coming up over the next? Because I know we're not really doing any trips, but, I mean, we have merchandise coming out. We have a summer collection that's going to be coming out. We got Same. a lot of stuff. It's going to be a packed year, and then we're going into next year, which is the year of the Dragon. Yeah. So, the year of the Dragon. And hopefully we'll have our drag bike. Yeah, I think we're will. also looking at a full suspension rascal bike. Oh. 
Can you talk a little bit about the Rascal Max? I just want to hear a little bit about it. We really don't have anything done on it yet. We have a basic idea of what we're doing. Okay. And we have some parts in. Okay. But our main focus right now is the drag bike. Getting those drag bikes We out. do have special billet triples and front end. You know, we got the wheels in now. Got the, the wheels. Machined aluminum wheels. So now I think we have all the parts. It's just after the drag bike, we'll start okay. cranking that up. Getting out in earnest. Gotcha. And the gas tank. We're waiting on the new gas tank to hit in July yes, we as well. Are. Yes, we are. And that'll help complete full suspension Rascal Max. Yes. And I think we're going to offer it on Rascals. It's going to be a perfect fit on a bunch of different bikes. It'll fit the Megamoto 212, the 80, the Rascals, Doodle Bug. What is that one going to look like? What's the tank look like? It's almost like an old Super Bronc okay. tank, which doesn't mean a lot to some people. I don't know how to describe it. Is it and I don't school. know if we even want to show it. Hard Okay, we want to show or... Is it like yeah. a chonky or is it, what's it look like? It it's looks... like a motorcycle shaped tank. Oh. Is it like the one that's on that flea? The flea trail Sort sky? of. Okay. Okay. It's less round than okay. that. You know, that one's like real bubbly. Mm -hmm. It's a little less bubbly. Oh, okay. Okay. So a little angular. Not Rokon angular. And then you got the no. Megalodon no. coming out, right? Then we got Megalodon. <laughs> <laughs> Megalodon is going to be the Megamoto 212 complete kit, but with the rear swing arm option and the yes. battery box. I remember you saying oh. that. And it's yes. going to have front suspension too or no? It already has. It already yeah. has front suspension. Yeah. But we're just adding the rear front suspension, suspension and front brakes. So it'll Ooh. get keep the same rear brakes and then yeah. rear suspension. Personally, what projects do you have going on? Taylor, I know you're you are building basically from sun up to sun down, but like, mm -hmm. what have you been doing in your spare time? I just got a new riding lawnmower. Oh, very <laughs> cool. Right. That's pretty much it. So you're gonna hit that bad boy up. You're gonna put what? You're gonna put a. Well, I'm keeping it just how it is. Oh, you're not it's racing. A zero. It? No. Oh, okay. You got a zero it's for turn? my house. Oh, okay. it's a zero turn. Look at you. I had to, man. I finally. I you're finally not gonna do to. it like that. I had the an old I sent you? riding mower that I bought used from Paul. Yeah. And it's been great, but I'm constantly having to work on it and finally bit the bullet and got this one. But I'm clearing out a few old motorcycles, and then I'm working on a Trail 70 and a uh, oh. BMW. Nice. Okay, very cool, very cool. Well, on that note, thanks a ton for coming out. You have now bookended season one. Sweet. If you need me for anything, I'm always just upstairs. Or just holler at You're me. You're like right above me. Yeah, yeah. I'm down there. Yeah, you guys have that tin can system that you've been using. We do. Yeah. I think we actually just yell up okay. and down the wall. Yeah. And that makes <laughs> it too knocking. easy. But thank you. Oh, and also, good job. Congrats on building 10 beautiful raffle bikes. That so was glad dumped. it's done. That was dumped on your lap. And you handled it like a champ. They're all beautiful. I'm glad that it's over. <laughs> for your you. sake. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, you. what was our grand total for Teen Life? Did we hit 100? I think we're over a hundred grand raised for Teen Life over these ten mini bikes, yeah. That's cool. and we don't so, get a cut. Of, we that no. that was entirely a labor of love and Taylor. No, like, and we're losing. No, but we it's, are losing money. We're but we're no, we're donating we're not time, taking effort, and materials. Any of the profits out to pay for the parts that we did. It or all goes the labor. to them. It all goes everything. To teen life. Every raffle ticket that was bought, yeah. hundred percent proceeds. So exactly. with that, definitely over a hundred grand. Yeah. yeah. So. Good job. I just wanted to tell you thank you. You did an amazing job on it. So big hugs. Good. So season one is now over. We're going to take a two-week hiatus, get some more uh, videos in the pot. Yeah, let's get some in the hopper. Got them in the hopper. We got some amazing guests coming up. We're going to be traveling around coming up this year, too. So you'll see this podcast kind of move around. So we're definitely excited to talk to more of the mini bike community all over the world. Wink, wink. But yeah, so we'll see you here in a bit. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and ride on. Thank you. Good Boom. job, fellas. Bang, bang. This was bang, excellent. Bang. Good job. Dude. Excellent. Okay. And the set Jason. is gorgeous. Yeah. Bust now. it out. Dad, oh, should I pull up these uh, wraps? Yeah. <laughs>